Hello everybody, my name is Sergey, and welcome back to another episode of the best PowerPoint games. And today I've got a brand new PowerPoint game, it's called Jurassic Hunter. And now, let's jump into the game. The best PowerPoint games. So here's the main slide, we've got a lot of dinosaur eggs, and this game is particularly useful for younger students, as I mentioned in the community session, and you really wanted a PowerPoint game for younger students. But you can also use it for older students, I mean a little bit older students. I will show you later how to add questions to the slides. For now, this PowerPoint game doesn't have questions, but stay tuned. And I'll show you how to add them. So what you should do here, students need to press on the egg and then catch dinosaurs. And for catching dinosaurs, you're gonna get stars. All the eggs have different outcomes. Let me show you what the outcomes. Yeah, some of the eggs will have this T-Rex running around. Or you can catch a dinosaur with a net. You just press on the net and you're gonna get a star. Press on a zero or on a number to add the star. And also, okay, that's another T-Rex. Also, one of the outcomes will be you have three nets to choose from and only one net that can catch a dinosaur. Let's choose this one. Alright, let's go back. And the last outcome that you're gonna have is a T-Rex up close. And that's all about the, the eggs. And to win the game you need to get eight stars. Let's press and add eight stars. And then press continue. And you've got all the dinosaurs right here. So this is a very simple game and to mix the eggs it's very easy, you just select the egg and move it around on a board and that's it. If you would like to add questions, let me show how you can do it. You select um, the shape and let's select this shape, stretch it out the question like this and then change the colors remove the outline, also you can format pane, open this and then transparency, make it less, press twice on this shape to add a question and make this question bigger, like this. You don't need to actually add the question mark, you can add your own question, I'm just showing you how you can do it. You can just leave this question, you don't need to do anything else. So for example, when playing a game, you let the student answer the question and after answering, a student will press on this net and that's it. Alright, if you've got any questions, let me know in the comments and don't forget to hit subscribe, give a like and share and spread the word about these amazing PowerPoint games and stay tuned for more free PowerPoint games. And I'll see you in my next video. Peace.